Hey guys, Assassin here, coming at you with Life is Strange. We're here in the dormitories, we just woke up, we took a shower, we erased a, a link off of a mirror, talked to Kate, uh, stopped somebody from spreading an, uh, the site around, and now we're on the outside. Um, we also took a picture of a rabbit. Yep. Just that good. Alright, it's time to figure out what's around here. I think there should be a picture around here somewhere. Uh, let's avoid talking to him for now. I think it was over here in the totem. No, apparently not. Was there like a certain time? No, I feel like there was a- I, I believe there was a picture of the totem, but I don't remember where exactly. And, uh, why am I able to come in here? Uh, okay. Did you say files? I can see that Samuel's concerned, but how did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? Uh, don't ask. <laughs> wow, I... I've never seen Samuel okay. wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? Never... I never even thought about coming in here, actually. Trippy dude. Uh, and that's the first. Uh, this, this is gonna be the first time I ever talked to him about Samuel that. Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident, and too easy to sneak into. Uh, Samuel, we need to talk. Hey, Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet, and I can feel the animals waking up with me. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but. Why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says well pried. Now everybody wants to know about her. Uh, well... You have a picture of her! You, you go with that? I don't, uh, some people care and you know her. So did you know her? Like I told the police. She was a good egg. And she gave me those photos. Oh, you talked to the police? Rachel wanted to be a model. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. Is, 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 uh, is that supposed to, you know, I'm just gonna leave that alone. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. I just want to ask about that, everything else, uh, whatever. Uh, isn't there somebody that should be around here, though? Other than the fact that they actually... The window was still broken after I warned Alyssa about the rogue football. One yeah. little thing changed the course of that window's life. Like it really mattered? Yeah, let's talk to Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. You don't have to be a bitch. And I can't see A again. God dang it. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment. So talk. No need to be a bitch, okay? Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better they didn't last long, apparently. Parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Don't need to be a bitch. Nope, I ain't re uh uh nope. Mm -mm. Forget it. We've talked to him. I'm not doing it again. <sighs> doing this shit again. This is Nathan's father. It's a message to let you know uh, that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers <laughs> and legal ramifications. You're not uh, the first student in the Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a polite, oh, uh, this, a final polite warning. Oh, really? I don't know why you really protect him when you don't know what he really did, oh, how he really is, but hey, he's your son and you're a rich brick. 
All right. Of course Farmer, I am. What are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Uh, thank you. That was intense. No. Nope. Uh. Intense. Everything happened so fast. Good enough, though. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Old friend. Just a pirate, really? Uh, just go An with this. An old friend. Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Because he has problems? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Oh. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Uh, why not? Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Man, that didn't last long. I'll text you later? Uh, what? Oh no. Going to the diner though, so it's not that bad. Oh. Uh, Aaron, what's to happening Nathan next? Cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate or Rachel. One's a rich prick, the other one's an asshole, and I don't think those two mix together very well. It would depend. I remember when I got in a bus alone for school before. I fell asleep and didn't notice I got there. Oh, I got to school. <laughs> bus driver had to wake me up. Enjoy the music, I guess. Oh, why does it feel like they've used this one before? I'm just remembering it. Probably got on before. Hey, the iconic lighthouse in the distance. I wonder if there should be something coming up though. Or was it the opposite way? Uh, so Maybe not. Hmm, well, I was wrong. Then I must have been somewhere along the lines in a different chapter. Oh, I remember. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Oh, the diner. Yeah, whatever. Although I do want to come over here. Don't, don't bite me. Stop that! Stop! No barking. At least you can do it. Look. About that guy and his dog. There was something about a truck, though. The red truck, right over here. Wait, where'd he go? You're not him. 
Where in the world did he go? I don't want to talk to her just yet, but I do think it was a picture around here. Yep. It's loud enough so you can hear it. I'm surprised you didn't exactly take a look. And she just don't care. Chloe. Running leg, grab a booth with the diner. Mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it to the, by noon. Oh wow, it's 6.40? Wow. I mean, not 6.40, 8.40? That's kind of early for 6. Oh. Huh. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Joyce mm, Price, Kitty, Abe, Prescott family. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Like Money goes to make people way. corrupt. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press card. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. Yeah, of course. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. Mm, what changes? What happened? Uh, what happened? What happened to you? What didn't happen to me? Sometimes you start out in life turned around the wrong way. I married dumb, made mistakes, got cheated out of my savings, lost my home, and now I hang out here. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless. But Arcadia Bay is still my home. Wait a minute, she just said she hates the sun, right? Yes! Another one! Because I'm not a fan of it. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. David Madsen? His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I have to go now. Goodbye. <sighs> he is a prick. Everybody should know that one. Oh, get some of the things are not here. Oh, unless it's just something. It must be Excuse something me. else. Uh, Sir? Some other point. Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! Okay. The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep okay, but I don't think in that the really. Can only talk about that or about missing girls. <sighs> Seriously. This town is more like a mystery to me. You're young. You'll get over it. I regret talking to you. Smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware uh, makes me feel 13 again. There's a few things to do here. I think. Oh wait, wasn't there a picture in here before pissing on the floor? That doesn't make sense, but okay. Uh, Rachel Amber owes me a okay. Kate Marsh, love you long time. There's something here. Katie Gay sucks dick. Good job with that. What does that say? Firewall something? 
fire walk with me? I don't think the picture came out because there was a flash, so that's all you. Uh, let's see, you're no one, a dude, a cop, truck, two truckers, yeah, that's pointless. Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole that was a lie. story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. Very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I am, though. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard All I did was take Chloe. the blame. I feel That's bad it. I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle, and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Yeah, she's changed though. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Still can't oh, she hit all the phases. Other game to come out. Ran away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why. I mean, Good, actually. Dude, he's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility. It was a lie. It was a lie! It scared me when he said he might have my scholarship taken away for that stupid joint. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great yes, friend. you knew! But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Maybe a little too damn much. God damn it. I care about Kate Marsh and... He cares yes, about Kate Marsh. Apparently. David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Not gonna lie, all the way from... I'd say whatever they teach you in middle school to high school, that's really pointless. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. I'm not a fan of coffee though. You wanna take a drink or no? One bacon omelet for the young lady, Snap. Take your time. This is like fourth dimensional day. I forgot to talk to him. Oh. Going back in time. It didn't make a difference anyway. Was I waiting for Chloe to come in now? Or? Okay, maybe not. Not a ball. No beer. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. Did you say that already? Going back in time. I think she said that already. Order ready. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. Chloe, what's taking you so long? Incoming. Uh, oh, I got my food. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. 
Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, oh. Speak of the devil. devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. <laughs> it's kind of messed up. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. I don't see a problem with that. shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Let's see, I think there is something I could remember. Uh, Your or did I have to mess up first? Way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Skull, razor blade, bullet. I, I don't think it has skull uh, on it, so I gotta mess up first. For a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Thank you. That was beyond bear. epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Uh, right, hold on. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully. A little and panda on the key. Item. They really want to get you specific on this one. It's that seven cigarettes. Eighty. Eighty-six. And it's a parking ticket. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. Oh, I can't speed it up anymore. So okay, you don't have to push it too hard. What's inside your pockets? Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Keys. Your card. Oh, is it the panda? The panda? The panda? Ha ha. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck call build. What else? It's not just the cigarettes. I'm seven. Sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something not else exactly. in my pockets? Hmm. Some Thirty-six. Money. Clearly, I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? No, you're poor. Uh, 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. The funny so thing is, cool. I have Show to me check. More. Uh, a parking ticket. Oh, there is four things, you right? Know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10:40. I can't see. I, I'm pretty sure it's right here. 10 I can't see A though. And it sucks. Booyah! Max can tell time. I wonder if they just did that to kind of point that out. Other than that, she's actually literally shocked. Amaze balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food? Better than nothing. Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. 
I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. What was it? There is a... Uh... Oops. That's... Did you break another cup? Really? No break. refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this nope, table. the freaking bug. Hey, where is my part? You're uh, a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. Coffee he cup, cop it. leaves. I'm the fight. The bug in the freaking. There you are. That's the best song I've this heard. This is yet. sure the hell. <laughs> I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Uh, Jeff's plate, cops, Jeff. I can't see it, but it was right there. The I think that's it. Jeff drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? And he leaves his partner. Something about a partner, cops on new ways, and he leaves. Ah, I can't see the it. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's there just we see go. how this goes down. Charge uh, beats him, stops him, doesn't care. Uh, god damn it. I can't see A. I literally can't see A, but it was stop. I'm guessing Justin stop. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and... Joyce breaks it up. That's it, yes. That's it's it. getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. That goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. That's exactly the it. goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. And this is how you know you get it all right. Although I freaking deal with the bar in front. <laughs> Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, no refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. <laughs> You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. Well, what is it, a on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Literally. Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Excitement. Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay. Yeah, but we don't. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. Well, that's in for that because I don't want to really want to go any further. It's a whole nother clip scene anyway. Now it's going to take longer than I would like it to. So, yeah, with that, I am done and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, okay. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.